What's up guys everything in one back here with another video, so, today Oppo holds a new, product press conference in Beijing to release Oppo R15. Finally, it's time to unbox it, and have a closer look at the smartphone. So the box is looking pretty simple, just like, old Oppo smartphone boxes. Opening up the box, first we will get the beautiful smartphone itself, the phone is, feeling lightweight, I want to inform you that this is a special dream mirror color, edition, other than the smartphone, there are pair of headphones inside, which looks a lot, like Apple earpods, isn't it? After the earphones, there is a charger, which comes with, fast charging support. So finally, these are all the accessories which you are getting with the box, there is also a silicon case provided with the box, good job by Oppo. The Oppo R15 Dream Mirror Edition comes with a double-sided glass design, the back of the phone is pretty shiny and reflective, and it looks incredibly attractive. Impressive, finishing by Oppo. In terms of display, it features a 6.28-inch OLED Super Full View display, that features a notch at the top. It offers a full HD plus resolution of 2280 into 1080 pixels, and an aspect ratio of 19 by 9. It delivers a screen-to-body ratio of 90%. The phone comes with gesture controls, which makes it more similar to the iPhone X. However, the gesture animations are quite amazing, with a snappy and fluid interface. Also, the gestures are enough responsive for day-to-day -day use. The fingerprint sensor is also there. Unlike the Apple, they didn't ditch the Touch ID. The sensor is quite responsive and quick. No need of worry, if you terribly hate the gesture control, just like you hate my voice, you can disable the gestures through settings. It's so easy. The Oppo R15 is loaded with Color OS 5.0, based Android 8.1 Oreo. It comes with 6GB of RAM and it includes 128GB of storage. For more storage, users can make use of up to 256 GB of micro SD card on the device. As for the processor, just like the Oppo R11s, the Oppo R15 also comes with Snapdragon 660 chipset, however the phone is enough to handle heavy games. For gaming, the phone comes with Mali G72 GPU. It's time to do a quick benchmark test. So here are the scores, which are not looking impressive. It scores a total of 138,553 points. Do let us know what's your opinion about the processor department. We will gonna make a camera review for this smartphone very soon, so stay tuned. That's all, thanks for watching, hope you like the video, make sure to get subscribed to our channel, and as always, keep watching and keep smiling.